Once upon a time, in a small village, nestled at the foot of a magical mountain, there lived a young girl named Mashi. She was known for her kindness, courage, and her love for adventures. Mashi's village was blessed with lush green fields, crystal clear rivers, and a strong sense of community. One day, Mashi heard a rumor that deep within the heart of the mountain lay a river made of pure gold. The villagers believed that whoever discovered this river would be blessed with unimaginable wealth and prosperity. Machi decided to embark on a quest to find the legendary Golden River. Equipped with a small backpack filled with supplies and guided by her unwavering determination, Machi began her journey up the rugged mountain path. The air grew cooler and the trees whispered stories of ancient secrets as she ventured deeper into the wilderness. After days of hiking and climbing, Mashi reached a clearing where she spotted an old man sitting by a fire. His eyes sparkled with wisdom, and his long white beard seemed to hold the secrets of time. This wise man was known as Anas, the keeper of legend and folklore. Mashi approached Anas and shared her quest to find the golden river. Anna smiled and said, Ah, the golden river. It is said to possess great power, but it is also tells the hearts of those who seek it. To find the river, you must first prove your worth. With curiosity and determination in her, in her eyes, Mashi asked, How can I prove my worth, Anna? Anas replied, The Golden River lies beyond great three challenges. The first challenge is to outwit the clever force who guided the river's entrance. The second challenge is to show compassion to a wounded bird in the forest. And the third challenge is to resist the temptation of unlimited good and use it wisely. Grateful for Anna's guidance, Mashi bid farewell and continued her journey. Soon, she came face to face with the cunning force. The force challenged Mashi to a riddle contest, hoping to outwit her. But Mashi's sharp mind and quick thinking allowed her to solve each riddle, leaving the force in awe. Impressed by her intelligence, the force granted her passage. As Mashi moved closer into the forest, she noticed a wounded bird lying on the ground. Its delicate wings were injured and it struggled to fly. Mashi gently tended to the bird wound, sorting its pain and offering it food and water. With gratitude, the bird reveals a hidden path that will lead her closer to the Golden River. Finally, after days of journey, of journey, Mashi reached the entrance of the Golden River. The site was breathtaking. The river flowed with shimmering golden horns, casting a mesmerizing glow all around. But as Mashi approached, the river spoke with a deep, booming voice. Mashi. I can grant you immense wealth, but you must promise to use it for the betterment of your village and the awareness of others. Mashi paused and reflected on the wisdom she had gained throughout her journey. She knew that true wealth lie in a hodling, lie not in hodling good, but in sharing it and using it wisely. With a humble heart, she made the promise. As Imashi filled her porch with a small amount of the golden water, she felt a surge of joy and gratitude within her. She knew that her village would strive 
and she will be able to uplift the lives of those around her. With her mission accomplished, Mamashi returned to her village, sharing the tale of the Golden River and the wisdom she had gained. The villagers were inspired by her selflessness and her commitment to using the Golden River for the greater good. From that day forward, Mamashi became a reverend figure in her village, a symbol of courage, wisdom and generosity and the golden water from the river flow through the village, bringing prosperity, unity and happiness to all who lived there. And so, the legend of Mashi and the Golden River continued to be told for generations, reminding everyone of the kind of power of kindness, compassion, and the true value of wealth.